Hi everybody and welcome to Froggy Day Crochet. My name is Erica and it's been a while, right? It's definitely been a while. <clears throat> First off, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got allergies going on. I want to say thank you to everybody who has sent me um, personal messages, whether it be on Facebook or Instagram. Um, you know, checking in on me to make sure that everything was okay um, and what's been going on and why I have been MIA. So, here's, here's kind of what has been going on. On Mother's Day, we had to um, fill out a missing persons report for my brother-in-law. He lives about 45 minutes from us, 30, 35 to 45 minutes, depending on traffic. So, you know, we didn't see him all the time. Um, we found out that, and he's a very private person, um, we found out that he had went to the hospital on um, April 9th. My husband actually seen him the weekend prior to that. Um, and since he went to the hospital and checked himself out, um, nobody has seen him since. So, <clears throat> in order for us to um, try to get some information because of HIPAA laws and things like, you know, of that nature, we ha did have to go ahead and fill out the missing persons report so that way we could hopefully get some information. <clears throat> so we ended up doing that on Mother's Day. <clears throat> um, unfortunately, we still do not know where he's at. So that's why, um, that's a big part of the reason why I abruptly stopped making the videos. Um, I haven't really had much crojo, <laughs> if you will. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. These allergies are just kicking me tonight. It's September, what, 20 whatever, 20, I don't even know what the day is. And it's like 95 degrees outside. <laughs> and it's dark. <laughs> But anyway, so that was the first reason that, you know, the main reason. <clears throat> Since then, um, my husband and I have also um, jumped into the direct sales life. <laughs> and so a lot of you that follow me here on YouTube are also friends with me on Facebook, so you've probably already seen that we are um, with a company called Pharmacy, Pharmacy Cosmetics. So, we've, I've been doing that. Um, I have also am an admin in um, a Tunisian crochet group on Facebook, and so we've been doing a lot of work with that group as well. So that's basically everything that has been going on with me since May. Um, like I said, unfortunately, we still do not have any news. We have no leads. We have nothing. Nothing at all. And, and it's been hard. Um, but so, I'm going to change gears. <laughs> <coughs> like I said, I haven't crocheted anything. Um... The last thing, well, I take that back. I have crocheted one afghan, and that was a um, a test. I did a test graph pattern um, of the uh, Crimson Tide A, and the A itself was actually the Tunisian bobble stitch. Um, but other than that, I haven't crocheted anything since the um, the afghan that I did for um, Debbie's locale with the state of South Carolina on it and the um, deer and the bass fish so I haven't yarn hauled I haven't nothing absolutely nothing <laughs> so I did 
um, start this not too long ago. So I will show you this. Uh, we are actually doing a tea cow Tunisian crochet along in that uh, crochet group that I mentioned. And if anybody is interested in joining that group, uh, just let me know below and I can send you guys the, uh, the link to it. But we are doing a corner to corner entrelock tea cow. And so this is what I've got going on so far. Um, now, if you're not familiar with Tunisian, it does curl until you put a border on it. And that is because the stitches, <clears throat> the stitches are much more dense than um, a regular crochet stitch. Let me hold this up so you guys can see. So the bottom border all, or the bottom rows always tend to, to curl. But once you put the border on, it'll stretch out. <laughs> now, for doing like regular Tunisian, if you were going to put like, um, do it into a graph, that kind of thing, <laughs> what I actually do and what we teach in this group is to incorporate your border so that you're doing it at the same time so you don't have to worry about the curling. So that's fun. But back to this. Um, <clears throat> if you have seen other entrelac projects the squares are usually a lot smaller well we decided to go with a bigger square four by four so that uh it was easier to teach <clears throat> people in the group um i chose to do three different colors this is a uh variegated let's see i've got a skein of it right here uh. This is act, the actual color that I'm using right here. And this is uh, Birdsong. I bought a ton of them. Oh, I don't know, a year ago. <laughs> <clears throat> because I really liked the color. Um, that blue. I think the blue is all in the house. It's like, it's not quite a navy blue, um, and it's not a royal blue. I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head. And then I have the red, which I want to say was um, garnet. So those are the three colors that I'm using. And the reason for the stitch markers is because the way we are teaching the um, cow in the group event is uh, you use the back, you use the, the back bump basically um, for your joining. So that's what the stitch markers are there for. Um, so I am doing, um, this one is going to be 15 by 15. So 15 squares across the bottom and 15 squares tall. And then I'm probably going to do the um, 10 stitch border around it. Let's see what else. Um, I've got a couple afghans that um, are being designed uh, that I need to work on. Um, have I gotten anything else? I did get the two lip crochet hooks. <clears throat> they are in the house, though. Um, so I'll come back and do another video on those. Um, I really like them. Um, and you can probably notice from the, uh, the camera that <clears throat> I'm not on my normal setup. I'm actually using my phone this time. Because, like I said, it's been so long, I really wanted to, um, just to jump on here and kind of tell you guys what's been going on. And again, I really appreciate everybody that has reached out to me, um, and messaged me to try to, you know, find out what was going on, if I was okay. Um, so, now you guys know. So, hopefully, 
hopefully this will be the beginning of the return, right? Um, yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, stay froggy. Bye-bye.